Currently, there are no documented cases of the Omicron variant in the United States, but local doctors are expecting it eventually. It's only a matter of time until this new variant is identified in the United States and is identified in New Hampshire. Um, but there will be um, attempts made on the part of the federal government to try and um, delay the introduction of this virus. There are still many unknowns with the Omicron variant, including how easily it spreads, what the symptoms are, and how it responds to vaccines. While experts are trying to learn everything they can about the variant, Granite State hospitals are dealing with another issue, a surge of Delta variant cases. We are in the midst of another um, COVID-19 surge. Our numbers have continued to go up over the last several weeks. We're averaging right now probably around 1,000 new infections every day. Our test positivity is high. And health officials are expecting those numbers to spike again in the weeks after Thanksgiving and Christmas. We are preparing as best we can um, with alternate surge sites within the hospital, planning for additional staffing models. Health experts say vaccination is still the best way to protect yourself from existing variants, and it's the best way to slow the spread of potential new variants. If we can slow transmission uh, by virtue of the way that these um, genetic shifts happen in the virus, if we can slow transmission, we can alter how many more variants come up. And with people expected to continue traveling and gathering for the holidays, New Hampshire's health systems are hoping that people will continue to take precautions like masking and social distancing in addition to getting vaccinated. Live in studio, Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.